My character ruined by not safe for work DM. Posted by user Starcadia. Alright, where to start? I had been playing a lot of tabletop role playing games through quarantine as I couldn't work and my workload from school went down tremendously. I had a friend DM me on Discord one day asking if I wanted to join her Star Wars role playing 2nd edition game she was running. Being a pretty big Star Wars nerd I was excited. I also knew most of the people in the group and they all love it as much as I do so I was optimistic. A little backstory on GM. She was a really fun and quirky person that I had taken out in a few dates. However, she does have her flaws which, out of respect for her, I will not mention. Aside from one that is important to the story. She has a huge dick. (laughs) I just wanted to put that in there. She has a huge addiction to hentai. Oh god. She would message me, drunk, with pictures of a guy on guy and girl on guy stuff with elves, furries, and all kinds of stuff. Ugh, Don't why? stick your deck in crazy, bro. Why? Don't stick your deck in crazy. She is an artist and draws and looks at a lot of not safe for work stuff, so I would always brush it off as best as I could, letting her know that it made me uncomfortable in a non confrontational way. And I yeah, very m- mostly that's probably the best way to handle yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I very much believe that people can make their own choices and I can agree to disagree on things. Finally! Yeah! Someone, you know, someone that's not a complete mental. <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> it's just not what I wanted in a relationship. And it was the reason we stopped dating. She also had a thing for gay dads, which is sadly also important to the story. Oh god, what have we got ourselves I don't know. I don't know. This is not going to be good. It's got, it, there's, there's so many guys. Get your there, bingo like, book out, <laughs> get, boys. We need, to make, we need to make this official, the bingo book. I know. And get, get dates I know, people. we do. Oh, sweet. Back to the story. We had a session zero where we made our character. Mark made a Wookiee bounty hunter named Carl. <laughs> Lily made a. Twilek. Twilek dancer smuggler named Kala. Ron made a brash pilot named Don. Clever girl. LOL. I'm done. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. <laughs> I only got the Okay. Name. And I made a young force sensitive named Mallow. In the backstory, which GM seemed to take the most interest in, I had said that my mom had mysteriously disappeared when I was very young and I was left to be raised on the mean streets of Narshada. Is that right? Nor should I, I. I don't. I'm not too sure. I'm. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible like, at see, see, when it comes things. to like expanding universe in Star Wars, if they didn't say it in the movies, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Same. On the main streets of Nor should I by my smuggler father. I also had left a girlfriend at home that I would occasionally message. Important for later. I thought she was excited because there was potential in our unlikely crew exploring the galaxy, running into my lost mother. Boy, was I wrong first session. Our characters meet up and get thrown in an imperial prison ship. My character, accidentally, uses force power to unlock the door. Everyone escapes together and we decide that we are going to team up because for the time being our interests align. It was a pretty good session of tabletop in general and I was super excited to see what came next. Second session. Some backstory on our Wookiee during this (laughs) During this, <laughs> during this, the Twi'lek and Pilot do some flirting and decide to beep it out in the back room. <laughs> the DM starts describing stuff but is stopped by Kyla's player and we decide as a group that if any more of this stuff happens, we will do a hard fade to black. Yes. Yes, that's, that's how you do about. it, boy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sick of people saying, oh, now Beer's such a, uh, he's such a shrewd. How can he not enjoy a lot of role play? Because I'm not a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like to indulge my sexual fantasies in a group of friends. I'm <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes, that's, all, that's, would... that's what I feel like. Unless okay, I... all these other boys or girls at the table unless, are sitting there. Unless I've gone into some weird swingers club. Like, <laughs> some you know, D&D, swingers, D&D, club? D&D yeah. swingers club. D&D swingers club. Jesus. Fuck me. <laughs> you might, oh, God, the horror stories from that. That would be quality. I want to read them though. <laughs> I know. If there's a DD swinging club out there, please let us know. Please oh, wait, stories. no, don't let us know. We're married. We <laughs> no. can't do that anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God. There was a little bit of a red flag here, but I was blinded by excitement and Star Wars nerdgasm that I brushed it off as I did with some of her other antics. Problem session. 
This is where things get really, really not safe for work. Also, sometime, see when people say really, really not safe for work for me, it's more like, but did the person throw dice and then get up on the table and expose their asshole? That's <laughs> yeah. really, really not safe for work. Yeah, that's what that's I think. What whenever I someone think, says yeah. that, yeah. Oh, so, like, was that like that one? It's like, really? if you throw your D20 right into my asshole, I'll give you extra parts. <laughs> yeah. No, who was it? The guy that whipped his dick out and slapped on the yeah. table? Like, I got the biggest pack for each other. Oh, what video was that? That was a great one. We're going too much. Let's get back I'm to the sorry. story. Seriously. So, this is where things get really, really not safe for work. Also, some time had passed in game, so the DM asked if we could do a time skip. We had ended the last session in a pretty closed off way so we all agreed to it, as it would make sense. DM opens the session with my character getting a distress call from my father, saying that he needs my help. The party gives me a thumbs up and we end up back on Nar Shada. 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 We we'll play Sam I know. Wrong. I've got all the boys in the comments going, that is not how you pronounce it. <laughs> We can't get in contact with him when we arrive, so we split up and look for him in different places. I end up visiting my girlfriend, and there is a quick, cute roleplay between us, showing my character is clearly into girls, and more than that, girls his age. He is only 16. Well, yeah, of course. That's yeah. what you expect. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but a quick message from our sponsored affiliate with Amazon. So the basic concept of how this works is we get to recommend items from Amazon and if you choose to buy anything, Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale. It's a pretty solid win-win all round. You get stuff, we get a couple of pennies. There are no extra fees or anything like that, just Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale for sending you there. So go ahead and check the link below to our storefront and get everything you could possibly need for tabletop role-playing games through us. Thinking about getting a new battle map or been thinking about getting into a new system like Shadowrun or Call of Cthulhu? Get it through us. Now let's get back to the video. Some more stuff happens and we end up in a firefight between us and some of the hot guards that killed my father's crew and captured him. We had sprung him from jail and now we're fighting for our lives. Second edition Star Wars RPG is a lot different from other tabletop role playing games as there is no HP or AC, no soak or whatever. If you get shot and you get hit, you will get hurt. Needless to say, our low level party was taking a lot and were suffering majorly from the debuffs of being injured. In a classic Star Wars entrance, a cloaked figure approaches and using a glowing green blade. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They can't, say, uh, they can't say lightsabers in the Star Wars game. Can they not? Can they not? Um, no, I think they're licensed. Oh, they are should, they? They should be licensed. Are they licensed? They should be. I'm pretty sure the new one is. I don't know about this one. The one I played is licensed, definitely. Uh, but oh, they can't was there not stuff. one that couldn't? They couldn't use certain things like uh, okay. lightsaber. Well, the one and... I played, they were able to like they didn't. They can't use tattoos, so they use not tattoo. Not tattoo. They, they could you still use the huts, but it wasn't Jabba the hut. Mm -hmm. And they, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they, they could use like you know the wee bar from whatever you call it but it wasn't that I Cantana think, yeah, yeah nah you know what I mean like it's one of those ones copyright reasons nah. so so in a classic Star Wars entrance a cloaked figure approaches and using a glowing green blade saves us from the brink of a total party wipe me out of character is getting all excited as in my mind at least this is clearly my Jedi mother and the force sensitive half to the couple edited oh well okay in legends material which is used in second edition where force sensitivity is directly tied to lineage it is in canon also but there is a lot more trust in the force type attitude compared to the prequel jedi who were all about the science of it so i kind of knew from character creation my mysterious mom would have to be some sort of force user then with the fight over Mallow stands up and says one word Mom, <laughs> honestly, I, I I feel like I want to go off on a tirade saying like, why did they have to throw away all the extra stuff? Why, let's why, not do it. Why let's did, go. Why, like, let's just keep going. But what did Disney do to Star Wars? Oh, oh, oh that's a discussion that. for another that, day. That's another video entirely. I don't want to get into it. It winds me up any time I think about it. But let's just keep going. The cloaked figure turns and pulls down the hood. It's a man, not just a man 
but a home-brewed race that the GM described as being very elf-like. Red flag! <laughs> <laughs> Malu's father stands up and runs to the man and, with much DM description, kisses him. And it gets a little handsy. The man reaching into his pants and brushing against... Beep! Beep. You can imagine all you like. There is no way in hell I am typing that out. <laughs> At this point, I am a little confused along with the rest of the party. I hear a few, what? And a nervous chuckle from the party seeing as this kind of came out of nowhere. I quickly rationalized that this must be some dude my dad met while smuggling and he is by or whatever. And I shouldn't have expected to see my mom so early on in our game. And she will show up later or be dead or something. Yeah, that's gosh. No, that makes yeah. complete sense. This is until the elf walks over to Mallow and kisses his forehead saying, I can't believe it's really you. Oh. I haven't seen you since the day I birthed you. Mallow is really confused and looks at his mum right, and on. asks, um, how the criff does that work? To which elf mum slash dad says, We'll show you something. What? What? <laughs> what? Right, okay. I'm going to assume now, if I was in this, I would think, like, maybe this, because it's a homebrewed alien race, they look like elves, maybe the female just look like male. Are they like seahorses? Are they, yeah, it could be like seahorses, maybe something like that. But the problem is, it's, I don't know. It's I'm male not, on I'm, not getting, I'm not getting the alien bi- biology. I'm not, <laughs> uh, let's, just, let's just accept it for what it is. Let's not try Okay, let's not try to rationalize uh, anything uh, of this, okay. Let's just do this thing. <laughs> I was a little angry as I feel kind of (laughs) bamboozled. Talking to my dad in past sessions, he always called her mom. I figured if my character was a half-elf, which he was now, despite being a full human according to character creation, his dad would at least talk about the race he was. She then describes that in the super hot elf race, the males are are now the ones who give birth, and this is my mom. I'm thinking weird really really weird but whatever i'll play mallow for a few more sessions then retire this character (laughs) as he has found his mom (laughs) and his drive for adventure can be over i can just roll a new character and maybe mallow will show up as an npc later right Wrong! Wrong! Wrong. <laughs> you know what this is. This is a horror story. You know exactly. It's not going be, to get any better. It's just going to get worse. Right? She then says that Elf Mom, Dad, leads us to their ship. A super advanced freighter with all kinds of modifications and weaponry. Uh, this is definitely not the Millennium Falcon. Uh, for copyright reasons, this is not the Falcon. Right? Basically, Mallow couldn't count the amount of knots on the price tag for this ship, saying, everyone can join my crew and we could be one big happy crew family. Meaning, my options now were turn down Ultra Ship and hope that the other character stories got better endings than mine, or go sit on the front row of Elf Dad XXX Human Dad. As they had kissed with lots of GM discretion two more times before we got onto the ship and once after he unveiled it <laughs> fuck Jesus it's a bit much like, I know here, like... most of the people in the party were uncomfortable however I would feel bad if we missed out on more fun in the future just because I felt a little weird around gay elf dot <laughs> so now we're on the ship we explore it and find better weapons and gear Basically making a super OP right off the bat, which IMO is not very Star Wars like. Skills in game and in lore are built up slowly and over time. Unless you're Ray Sky Palpatine Walker. <laughs> and giving us all this stuff so quickly took away from that. This is where the reason for writing this comes in. The GM described as my character is led away holding both of my parents' hands to have some privacy. Then DM says, and fade to black. Quickly before saying, Kyla, you suddenly see blah, 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 blah. She said it so fast that I was unsure if I misheard her. So I didn't say anything. Soon as the session ends and a few hours later, I get a DM from the I get a DM from, from the GM. GM. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 
a picture she had drawn of not safe for work, not safe for work, not safe for work, final warning, elf dad and human dad naked with Mallow in between oh them with God. a dick in his mouth and a dick in his ass with all the faces looking like they were having the time of their life. <laughs> oh my Then God. the text, fade to black. Wink. <laughs> That's just absolute vile. How can people just do this? I don't know. How, how can people just be okay with just flaunting it so much? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not into like this sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Look. I was shocked. Like, I yeah. couldn't even react to what I had seen. Without even taking a moment to think, I made a pretty rash decision. I copied what she sent and the text and posted it in the RPG Discord and said, This is what DM sent me. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, completely was, fine. Like, put it out like this. His character was still getting elf Eiffel Tard by his fucking... <laughs> Eiffel Tard. <laughs> that's an Eiffel Tard. He's That's an Eiffel Tard. I've heard the term me. Eiffel Tard in years, but he's getting Eiffel Tard. And he looks like he's enjoying it, like, a bit too much. But, like, come on here. Do we really need to meet the end sets? I know, I know. poor Hub's trying to show it, like, fuck these days. But just don't listen to it, all right? I'm sure I'll get comments that say that that was the wrong thing to do. And I agree with you. But in that moment, I was filled with rage. My character was straight and in a relationship, made clear by him having a girlfriend who we saw in-game. My character was a full human, not some half-elf hybrid. All of this was ignored so GM could have her jollies over my character and her fetish elf dad. Later that night I was DM'd by Ron, who said that everyone had left the game and he was glad that I had said something. Both him and Lily had gotten a similar DM from GM what? with their characters in a very similar fashion. He said that they all liked their characters and seeing them in such pornographic ways really ruined the game for them. I offered to GM and he said he would ask the rest of the party. Everyone was on board with this and we just recently finished the game. GM joined back in as a player, playing Mallow unironically and promised she would respect everyone and their characters and wouldn't try and pull anything like that again. Oh, that's nice, actually. You know, look, I suppose maybe they've learned their yeah. filthy ways, you know. <laughs> I fixed Mallow's story a bit as we started back before the time skip that GM had done, and it was a pretty fun game. And GM, if you're reading this, you know I love and care for you. Just make sure everyone is on board if you're wanting to do something like this in the future. TLDR. GM makes a Star Wars alien race of hot elf men who can get pregnant. Force his 16 year old son into a three way with gay dad and derails campaign. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't even know where to go with this. That so TLDR I, I, is I, a fucking roller coaster by itself. I, I, I have no <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I kind of want to see this. I kind of want them, like, to. What, wait, what do you want to see? I want to see, like, that horrible, horrible artwork. I want to, like, was this. Does this look like it was drawn by like a five year old, or did it have some? <laughs> is it just artist? stick men on the bed? <laughs> yes, was it with, like names man? above them, yes. or is it like like was, Tumblr was, art, was, like, this is like deviant high, art shit? This is like high end art tier, or is this stick men? Because <laughs> I think that would add an extra level of comedy. Yes. Like you know, it's like an art. Like, PP go here. <laughs> you know what I mean, I kind of want to know more, but yeah, that's a uh, fucking roller coaster. Yeah, glad, that, glad. Glad, glad she worked, stopped. Glad everything worked out for you. I, you know, it's weird that... Well, it's not weird that it's a she, but it's weird that... It is weird that it's a she, because normally the DMs that we get who are like this, who have oh, fucked oh, up fetishes are all male. Yeah, it tends to be, but like, doesn't, it doesn't mean that they're not out there. doesn't mean they're not out there. Their beards exist. Yeah, Their very elusive. <laughs> they aren't as common, but they are definitely out there. So yeah. uh, keep an eye out and don't stick your dick in crazy boys. Yeah, don't stick your don't, dick in... Keep don't. this... Keep this as a rule for life. Yeah. <laughs> don't it, stick your dick in crazy and don't let crazy stick its dick in you. And, That's it. Uh, yeah, if you find out that they happen to be like um, a porn artist, you know, respect the hustle and all that, you know. Make but beep the fuck out. But like, yeah, yeah, you know you're, you're in for a bad time, let's be honest with you guys. Um, I don't really have anything else to add to this because it's an absolute mental and uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this one, I suppose. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it was different. Um, see you guys see, later. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah. see, see you, guys you later. later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. -bye. yeah.